You're listening to Upcycling with Deb. I'm your host, Deb Colometta. I wrote a number one best-selling book called Best Offer, Best Life. You can find more information about me on my website, thedebsite.com, or find me on Instagram and Facebook at Deb Colometta. A couple of weeks ago, the kids were back in school. And I decided to revamp my working area. I went through some files. I shredded a bunch of things. I got rid of some old file folders and really thinned out my office space. And one of the things that I found was a large envelope where I keep our gift cards that we receive as gifts. I realized that we had so many gift cards stockpiled, whether it was some gift cards that had a couple of dollars left on them or some that had never been used, we probably had $500 worth of gift cards in this envelope. I decided that I would be very mindful about using up those gift cards this season. If you're looking to reduce the strain on your budget, I would challenge you to gather all your gift cards, take a piece of paper, write down the gift card and the amount of money on the gift card, and see what you can do by patronizing those particular businesses. I created a gift card tracker just for you. I want to share it with you. And later on in the episode, I'll tell you how you can get your copy for free. If you're able to use up that $100, $300, $500 worth of gift cards, that's $500 that's not going to end up on your credit card bill. You may find that you have a restaurant gift certificate Use that, use that up, put it towards a meal with friends and share it with others. Why do we hang on to the gift certificates? Why do we do that? Why are restaurants and stores so excited to give us gift certificates? Because they know that we're going to probably put them in a drawer somewhere and forget about them. So they can actually make some more money on that by selling the gift certificates. I have a couple of examples where we tried to support small businesses by buying gift certificates for restaurants. And one particular restaurant that my parents had gone to for 20 years actually closed. So we were lucky that we were able to use the gift certificate before they closed, but otherwise we would have been stuck with a gift card that had no value. So not only is it a good way to clear out gift card clutter and to save room in the budget, But it's also important because you never know how long these stores are going to be around. I mean, we had a men's warehouse gift card and uh, men's warehouse closed and then it kind of reopened. Ray ran over there and used it up. And then luckily he had used it up because they announced that they were closing again. So use up those gift cards before the store closes or changes hands or they don't honor the old gift card anymore because they've been bought by another company. Don't wait until you've lost them. Don't forget about them. Put them in one spot and try to use them like currency. Do a gift card challenge like I did. Take your gift cards, familiarize yourself with what you've got. Keep them in a spot that's easy to access when you're leaving the house in a hurry so you'll remember them. Write down the names of the stores or the restaurants and the amount so you have an idea and challenge yourself to go to those particular stores or restaurants so that you can use up those gift cards. Nothing worse than having the gift cards sitting around and collecting dust and not needing them anymore. And I even have a story of how I had a $50 gift card to a baby store. And for some reason, I don't know what I was saving it for. Um, But guess what? Uh, I don't have any babies anymore. So I don't know why I decided I'd wait for my kids to grow up before I would go to this baby store. And that tells you how long that I've had this gift card. Hopefully it's still good and hopefully the um, the magnetic strip still works on it. But don't don't save it for something else. Try to be mindful this coming month in spending down those gift cards. Here's a quick after the show update. 
While I was recording the episode of the gift card challenge, I had guessed off the top of my head that the pile of gift cards that we had in that little envelope was about $500. Then I went on social media and added that we had found hundreds and hundreds of dollars because it was actually higher than the $500 amount. Then we actually kept going. We had another round of birthdays in our house and we added the totals to a new Excel sheet that I created and want to share with you. And you'll never guess the grand total. Without even realizing it, we had stashed in a couple of different places around our house over $1,200 in gift cards. $1,200 plus. I want you to take this gift card challenge. Take a couple of minutes to gather up your gift cards. Make a note of the total in my new gift card tracker. It's available to you for free. Just go to my website, thedebsite.com, and enter your email on that main page, and it will come right to your inbox. You can use it electronically. You can print it out and keep a written track of your amounts and your gift cards and who they're for and all that good stuff. I want you to find this kind of money, consolidate it in one place so you can keep track of it. Use it. Don't lose it. And this is also good for doing what I call as a strategy, parental double dipping. That means you're going to do something anyway, but you relabel it into a treat. So if you catch your kids doing something really good or just having generally good behavior or they're being kind to a sibling or to a friend, if you catch them being good, tell them we're going to cash in that restaurant gift card or we're going to cash in that donut gift card that you got for Christmas or for your birthday or whatnot. Use it as an opportunity to not just spend the gift card, but make it into a double reward. The kids get a treat when they get the gift card and when they cash it in. I challenge you to see how much money you can find just lying around your house. Keep track of them. See what you can find. Let me know. And good luck with the gift card challenge. I think you're going to be surprised. I know I was. And now I'm $1,200 richer. Thanks for listening to this Little Debbie. It's a bite-sized version of the longer podcast, Upcycling with Deb. My name is Deb Colometta. Connect with me on my website, thedebsite.com, and get a free downloadable guide. And follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Deb Colometta. Let me know what you think.